Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and if you've been sitting at home watching the Olympics as I have, I've been watching what stabilizers the Olympians are using. This is the Fivix Fornix 14, and I was watching the Olympians and I was seeing no vibration. They're all shooting thin stabilizers, and a lot of them were using these. So these are new from Fivix for 2021 or 2020. So what they are is they're very, very thin. So they're 14 millimeters in circumference, so around the, around the outside. Four millimeters thick with 40 ton carbon. What that means is when you try and, when you put one end of your body on the, so when you put this on the bench, hold the other end and try and put your body weight against it, this does not move. It's so rigid. It's, I don't think my friend would be able to snap it. Maybe he could. Um, look, the graphics look great. The price point on these is about 310 Australian dollars. Now where that puts it, this is a high end carbon stabilizer, which means it's rigid, it's lightweight and extremely thin. It's as thin as all the rest. When I say it's as thin as all the rest, the thin stabilizers on the market, this is as thin as all of them. So the dead centers, whatever stabilizer you can think of, this is as thin as it. It's definitely as rigid, so it's got less flex than any of the others I've seen on the market. The finish looks good, so you could use this for compound or for recurve. Um, it comes with a dampener and some weights, so you're probably going to want to fit more weights. And what I noticed is a lot of the Olympians are fitting just the normal um, stainless or tungsten weights to the end of their stabilizers. So at $310 with weight and with dampener, how does that compare in the market? I think it competes pretty well. So the top end stabilizers, and I'm not gonna pick the really, really expensive ones, but your top quality stabilizers are generally in the 300 plus dollars. There's not many in the 300, most of them are 350 upwards. So this is really, really well priced. Now I haven't really looked at it before, um, but watching the Olympics, I saw a fair few people shooting them, and I just did a review on the Win and Win e, um, EL15, I think it's called, um, which is the top of the line Win and Win stabilizer. And I saw all the Olympians who were shooting those, and they were very, very popular, especially with the top of the line Olympians. Is that fair? The Olympians who are at the top of the podium, who are winning, a lot of them had those, and a lot had these. Um, all of them had dampeners. So every Olympian had a dampener with the weights. And what I noticed, it was very little vibration. So when I did the review of the wireless, I was like, well, it would be better to have a dampener in there. Every Olympian had dampeners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the bow. Now these come in black or white. Um, so I'm gonna put this on my recurve. Um, and we're gonna have a shot with it and see how it stacks up because I'm very keen to put a high end set of stabilizers on a couple of recurves and try them out. So I've set up a full set of the Fivix Fornix 14s. Now Fivix also make an 18, which is obviously gonna be wider and obviously cheaper and obviously a little bit more flex to it. Um, they also make a cheap V-bar. And it's just a basic aluminium V-bar here. Now, Win and Win produced some fancy ones, carbon, adjustable ones, and there's a whole bunch of adjustable ones from people like Dead Center, Shrewd, um, I'm forgetting some others, but hey, there's a whole bunch of people who make adjustable, and you can see some Olympians were using adjustable V-bars, and some were just using a basic, basic V-bar. Now my theory is that Win and Win probably do the carbon V-bar because they've got carbon bows and carbon stuff. So they're like, we'll do this, it's a bit more fancier. They also do an adjustable V-bar one. My theory is Fivix think it's not an issue, so this like a basic V-bar, cheap V-bar is okay, right? Um, that's my theory. Um, the Fivix V-Bar is available in 40 degrees or 45 degrees. So, my, so the whole setup, the V-Bars here um, are 170 each, so 340, the stabilizer is 310, 700 and something dollars, 650 dollars. Um, now, Fivix is a Korean company. They produce in Korea and they produce in China. 
I don't know what products come from China and what products come from Korea. When I order, I get two invoices, one from China and one from Korea, and I don't pay much attention to where what product comes from where. There is generally some, generally in companies who produce in both China and Korea, there's a reason why they produce stuff in China and people are going to jump to the cheaper wages in China. It's actually to do with the materials which they're using generally. So, um, and safety requirements, some of the higher grade carbons, I believe in, you can make in China, but not in Korea. So you may actually find the more expensive items are actually made in China and some of the more average items, and that's not saying average as far as cheaper, some of the more like things like your V-bars may be made in Korea. So, but I know like where places, where things are made is an issue to some people, but it's not to me, so I don't pay any attention to it. I just get two invoices and then the shipments come in, I'm like, oh, okay, so I've got some risers or I've got some limbs or I've got some stabilizers. But Fivix do make arrow shafts, they make knocks, they make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, now, one of the weights didn't attach squarely, so it may drop off when I shoot. I can't actually undo it because it's not on squarely. But I'm just interested to see the vibration, how these stabilizers feel. I think they look great. Um, and let's sort of see how they go. Oh, they are nice. Now, I'm yeah, really nice, like straight up, just nice. So there is a lot of nice stabilizers on the, on the market. Um, I saw Olympians using the Eastern Halicron, um, Halcyon. Um, look, I shot those when I was in America, the very nice stabilizer. I shoot dead center, very nice stabilizer. Shrewd produced good stabilizers. There were people shooting those at the Olympics. A lot of the Asians kind of stick with the brand, so they all shoot Fivix or Win and Win. Um, it's very common in Europe. A lot of them are using the Fivix um, or the Win and Win stabilizers. Look, that was nice. There was very little vibration. They, it felt really, really nice. Like, yes, I would buy a set. Like, yeah. I should have been trying these stabilizers before. I should have done this review before. I've been very busy doing the shop. Look, I haven't changed this bow for a while and I'm gonna try the, you know, the new Fivix and the new Win and Win bows. Been busy building these. These stabilizers are fantastic. Um, Fivix is a really good company. They respond to you well, as far as if you send them a message, they get back to you pretty quickly. There is problems with manufacture. And when I say problems with manufacture, there are items that Fivix is having trouble making right now. So the Xena risers will not be made in 2021, right? People are having trouble making all sorts of products all around the world. I would say that a lot of the Fivix products I order about probably 70% of it is no problem and it ships pretty quickly. These stabilizers I'm pretty sure are in the ship quickly bracket. Last time I checked, these ones came in quick. Um, there are products that are an issue. So if you're ordering Fivix items, literally if you're ordering any archery items this, this time in COVID times and the archery shop doesn't have it in stock, Ask them, have they got any idea on delivery times? I am getting delivery times now of seven months out. And even when people have items in stock, I am, I've paid for items and, I've, and that's in stock. And people normally ship same day and I've been waiting uh, two weeks from one supplier from the time I paid for everything in stock. Another supplier, I've been waiting two months from the time I paid. Um, and this is everything in stock at a distributor. Um, the wait times are large. So I think there's massive demand. There's limited supply of products. It's, I have never ever seen archery like this right now. So if you're ordering products, 
always ask the question, if it's not in stock, have they got a rough idea of when it will be supplied? Um, I mean, with like, if you ordered these, these stabilizers, the Fornix, and we didn't have them in stock, let's say you ordered white, I've only got black in stock, I would send them an email and say, look, you've got a rough idea of shipping. Um, and it's not that, it, there's two parts to this question. If it's in stock, at Fivix, they'll ship it pretty quick. So it'll be in Australia in seven days. If it's not in stock, how long was it roughly going to take to ship, to make, and then ship out? So Fivix is pretty fast with shipping. They have, I'm going to say production, so they make they make things. So certain things will become get made every week, if that makes sense. So they may make argon risers this week, and they make, may make limbs next week. So with Fivix, stuff sort of comes in to stock every week, if that makes sense. So they might be making plunger buttons in two weeks' time if they don't have them in stock now. So, but I would say overall, Fivix is shipping very, very well in COVID times. It's in the better list of shipping companies during COVID. Um, and I hope I'm not jinxing that because when I did a review on Spot Hog, I sold out of a year's supply of sites in three weeks and Keith just told me it's going to be six to seven months until you can see any more. Any products from Spot Hog because of the massive wait time. So, but getting back to this product, these stabilizers are the go. They are fantastic and they are so good, what I'm going to do is we're going to put this on my compound. Oh, so nice. And it's so nice when you hear the arrows crunching against each other. It's so nice. Um, okay, so the stabilizers. There's two threads that people use on stabilizers. This is the small one. So I think it's 5 16th a quarter. This is a smaller stabilizer thread, which is fortunate because my weights are smaller. So what I'm going to do is we're going to throw this stabilizer on my compound and see what it feels like. To me, this felt literally as good as any stabilizer I've ever shot. It's so good. And there's lots of good stabilizers out there. So don't go, well, this stabilizer is better. This felt fantastic. Looks good, carbon looks great. Um, I probably said that. So let's set it up on the compound and have a shot. Okay, so there's a lot of thin stabilizers on the market. Conquest have two, a really expensive one and a cheaper one. One's 300, one's 500, dead center. I've been shooting dead center for ever. Um, Shrew's got thin ones, there's a whole bunch of thin stabilizers. So what I've done, this is my compound, we've put all the weight, how much weight's here, Stephen, a lot. Uh, we've taken off the rubber off the end and we're just gonna see what this feels like. Now, generally when you shoot a more rigid stabilizer, so the one that doesn't flex, you get more vibration coming back towards the bow after you shoot the shot, which people say that's okay because it's after the shot. The reason you want a rigid stabilizer is because when you pull back the bow, you don't want this sitting here vibrating when you shoot. So you can see there's no vibration in the weights here, especially when you put on heaps of weight down the end. You don't want this sitting here bouncing and you bouncing because of the stabilizers so soft. So the cheaper stabilizers, the $30 stabilizers, the $40, $50 stabilizers are okay when you've got one or two ounces. As soon as you put on weight down the end, that's where the expensive stabilizers come into their own. So let's have a try with this. Now, I did a review on the Phoenix 1500 stabilizer before from Fivix, which when I did the review with the dampeners, I found very, very good. It was completely dead in the hand. Now, when I took the dampener off, I felt vibration back. Um, but this felt, with the recurve, really good. And I'm gonna guess the 1500s felt really good. 
So I'm going to be very interested to see what the compound's like because I remember with the compound, with the 1500 I did about two years ago, the review, um, I could feel the vibration back through the bow. So this bow's on 60 pounds. That's pretty good. Now, that was, pretty, that was pretty good. So when I shot the shot, I could feel bang, I could feel this, the end of the weights go bang, like they felt like they dropped, they felt like they came up, and they felt like they dropped again, and then it was dead. So there was no oscillations in the shot. I could feel the, I could feel the shot taken, and it was dead. There was no after, there was no after vibration. Now I've shot expensive stabilizers before. I'm talking the $500 ones, the whatever ones, and you feel a hum in the stabilizer. This doesn't have the hum. This is good. Fivix over the, over the Phoenix 1500 from Fivix, this stabilizer is clearly better. Um, Yeah, like, it's pretty, it's pretty good. That's $300, so, I'm gonna say so cheap. Now, if you know anything about me, I'm like a bit of a, I'm a bit tight with money. And so $300 is a fair bit. And, but I think for the, for what you're getting, it's very, very good. Now, after the shot, you can see the vibration in the sight. So you can see, I take the shot and the sight vibrates. I noticed in the Olympics, a lot of people had dampeners. Oh, you can get dampeners on the end of the scope here, but you can get dampeners from Fibix, which bolt into these little holes here in the sight. Now that will absorb, absorb some of that vibration. So I don't know how much vibration is coming as a result of the stabilizer and how much of it's just a result of the sight, just vibrating. But this feels really good, really good. So I would say if you're in the market for a top of the range stabilizer, now I haven't tested the Bee Stinger Micro Hex Target Stabilizer. My friend in America said they're really good. Um, I haven't tested it yet. Some of my staff shoot the Bee Stinger Micro Hex. Um, I suppose when you work in an archery shop, there's so many products and it's like, I, you just don't have time to test them all. This is the first time I've, I've tried the uh, Fibix um, Fornix 14. Um, I'm really, really impressed. So if you get a chance and you're in the market for the top of the line stabilizer, look, I like the Halicron from Eastern. I did, I liked it. Um, I don't know if the price point was in excess of this. I can't remember. Um, I obviously like the, I obviously like the Icon 625 from Dead Center. Um, this just feels really good. The stabilizer itself feels light. Um, I'm just, I'm really impressed. Um, now I've tried more, some more expensive ones on the market and I've been less impressed with them. And it's not that they're a bad stabilizer, I feel a lot more vibration back through the shot as a humming through my arm and through the shot, which again doesn't affect the shooting, it's just a lot of vibration coming back to my body. This, there wasn't the hum, I could feel it like that boo boo boo, but then it stopped. 
um, I could see it in the sight, in the scope, vibrating. And hence I'm thinking, I really would like to watch the Olympics again because I saw the girl with all the little uh, FIVX dampeners on her sight. And I'm like, I'm wondering which stabilizers she was shooting. But when I shot the FIVX, when I shot these stabilizers, the Fornix 14s with a recurve, he was dead. With the massive amount of weight here and no dampeners, it's very good. I would like to try it with a dampener on the end here. And I saw a whole bunch of recurve shooters with the fancy dampeners from like Axel and Win and Win on their bows to absorb shock and vibration. I'm really, I'm not going to say this is going to improve your points as far as how many points you shoot, but for me, it'll just make the whole experience of shooting nicer. And that's what I'm looking for. But the Fivix Fornix 14, if you're in the market for a top of the line stabilizer and the shop will let you, give it a shot because it's very, very good. And this makes me think, I wonder how good the equivalent one from Win and Win is if I put dampeners on it. Because I definitely had more vibration. If you check that video with the um, ACS 15, and I said at the time of the video, a dampener would make all the difference. And I think the, the whole shape of the Win and Win one's very, very good and it looks nice. But boy, this is a stabilizer. So impressive. I really want to try a full FIVIC setup, like FIVIC bow, FIVIC limbs, FIVIC stabilizers, and a full Win and Win setup and shoot scores with both of them, see what I score. Anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Um, enjoy your archery. These stabilizers are cool. Thanks for watching, bye.